Hey everyone and welcome to another All About RVs video. Today we're going to take a look at a brand new 2020 and a half No Boundaries 19.6 model. This is all the new mid-year model changes. The 19.6 Nobo is also a new floor plan for the No Boundaries lineup. We're going to take a few minutes and show you some of the inside features and then head to the outside. As you can see, we have a queen walk-around bed in the front, so 60 by 80 queen bed. There's hanging closets on both sides of the bed. Window in the front. Now, we'll show you here in a minute, but this bed actually flips up, and then there's a couch there. There's an electric outlet on each side of the bed, hanging closet again on each side of the bed. Little shelf up there. And then down below beside the bed is also some more shelving. Back in behind the hanging closet area, you can see a little shelf area there also. Windows on both sides of the bed do open. There is another sofa back here, which is part of the slide-out that flips down and makes into a small bed. I left the table up out of the way a little bit, but we'll show you what that looks like when we put the other couch down. You have a little bar stool area here. Plenty of room at the foot of the bed. Little LED light area underneath of that uh, bar there. This one was ordered with the optional 12 volt TV. That is on a swing arm, so you can move it around. That is a 12-volt TV again, so it will work off of battery power. All vinyl floor throughout the couch here. Now, the, some of the new model changes are going to be countertops. You can see the countertops are different than the early version. Also, the sink color has changed. The faucet has changed colors as well. It went to a black stove top, basically a two burner gas stove top. The optional convection microwave is down there that you can see. Quite a bit of counter space though for a small unit like this. And there's a pretty good amount of storage space down here. Your bypass for your water heaters back there. And right here you have a couple drawers. They are full extending ball bearing drawer guides. On this model of the Nobo, they use the six cubic foot gas electric Dometic refrigerator. So you have your little two button controls up here to turn it off and on and choose the model. But freezer up top and refrigerator down below. Your digital thermostat for your furnace and air conditioner controls are right there. The furnace is actually located down there. Pretty good amount of storage space here. You have a little lock box back there, a little hanging closet. Another little thing that changed, it still comes with the little portable speaker, but that portable speaker now mounts to that little mount down there, and you got some USB charger ports there. Up top here you have some controls for the slides and the awnings, uh, the LED light for the awning outside and things like that. Spin back around here into the bathroom area. Up on the ceiling there you can see the fantastic fan. It does have a skylight up there above the shower. Traditional medicine cabinet. Pretty good sized corner shower. The wallboard changed in the camper as well, so that's going to look a little different compared to the earlier versions. Foot flush toilet. But overall, a decent amount of space in there so you can get in and out of the camper, or out of the bathroom, and uh, get dressed. 
I'm going to take a second and flip this bed into a couch so you can kind of see what that looks like. All right, so I kind of flipped this up so you can see what it looks like here. So that's basically with the bed up out of the way. Again, you have another two-person sofa down here. There is some storage underneath of there. And I set the table up over here just to kind of get you an idea of what it looks like. The table's decent if you have this couch up and you're just kind of using it in this area. But it does not work well sitting in between the bar and this sofa. You can't really get around it. So I would probably leave that table either outside under the awning or when you're not using it uh, in this uh, sofa area over here. Now we're going to head out to the outside, guys and show you the outside and this is also a new tandem axle version so you'll see that as well when we get out there all right guys we are now on the outside of this new no boundaries 19.6 model and as you can see there's some new changes out here a little bit as well you have new graphics so the coloring of the graphics changed a little bit little extra graphics thrown in on a couple places um, also across the top up there, you can see the LED light strips, kind of an orangish color up there. Uh, that is a new feature that they added to the front. The fiberglass cap upgrade happened in the early 2020 versions, um, so you're going to see that on this one as well. They continued that on to the new model change. Power awning, LED light strip, adjustable uh, arms, so you can tilt it for water runoff. Still using the same deep tent safety glass windows, magnetic uh, door catches for the uh, baggage doors there, and you can see pass through storage across the unit. Now the inside framing of like cabinets and bedding and stuff is wood framed, but the actual body of the coach, the side walls and stuff are aluminum tube framing. Um, the unit is fiberglass outside as you can see instead of metal. But it does have the Asdale backer instead of a Luon board backer, so it's less susceptible to delamination and water damage. Uh, definitely check out the Asdale on board website for information about that stuff. Really nice improvement for the construction of an RV. Down below is a gas line, so you could hook up a portable grill if you wanted to. Again, a new tandem axle version of the uh, No Boundaries. This is the first non-toy hauler version that has tandem axles, and they are torsion flex axles. Much better suspension system than leaf spring. You have the uh, more ride step, so that does uh, kind of help stabilize the coach when you're running in and out. It holds more weight, doesn't shake it as bad going in and out of the coach. Six gallon gas electric water heater you're seeing there. Um, electric outlet also right there. Porch light up there has a separate switch than the awning, so you can use either the LED light strip, both, or just one. And that porch light will become amber if you flip the switch the other direction. The stove exhaust vent located up there for cooking. Large folding entry handle there to help you go in and out of the coach. Traditional 4-inch square tube bumper on the back of the coach. Great place to store a dump hose. Um, you can also do like a little bike rack on the back bumper, something like that. But another feature that is up there, and it's a little hard to see from down here, you can see the kayak holder sticking up. The unit comes standard with the Rhino rack system. So there's crossbars up there you can hook bike racks to, uh, ski holders to, kayaks to, all kinds of stuff from the Rhino rack people that you can uh, buy and put up there on the unit. Furnace exhaust out the back there, so that's what you're seeing on this little silver thing on the right. LED running lights and tail lights. Ladder going up and down the coach. Outside utility shower, hot and cold water back here. Um, detachable power cord, marine grade power cord, so that actually screws into place. Cable and satellite hookups, uh, black tank flush, all that type of stuff back here. You can see the slide out sticking out the side there. That is a electric slide. You push a button, it goes in and out. Kind of see up top a little bit up there, but the TV antenna up there, it's pre-wired for uh, replacement, so you could actually put the uh, wine guard 
uh, internet version up there too that helps bring in internet connectivity. So that is a pre-wired version up there if you wanted to do that. Fresh water and uh, city water hookups and fill-ups are right there. The drain fort is down below. It's a little white plug down there. Um, one other thing I forgot to mention back here in the back is going to be your dump area. You have one dump on the coach. There's a gray handle and a black handle down there. The unit has an enclosed bottom. They use a spray foam to kind of seal up any gaps and stuff like that. Um, there is now an option on the Nobo for 12-volt heat pads. If you like the winter camp, those 12-volt heat pads will help extend your camping season if that does interest you at all. You can order them now with 12-volt heat pads for the holding tanks. Don't forget, guys, again, to like, share, and subscribe if you are interested in keeping up with more of my videos. CouchesRVNation.com, one of the largest internet wholesale dealers in the country. Here you can see some basic specs on the coach. Gross vehicle weight of the camper, 7,490 pounds. Your VIN number, production date of this unit was 729 of 19. Two 3,500 pound axles, plus you have hitch weight. Hitch weight is different than axle weight. Those two combine when you're going into gross weights. Tires are ST235 75R15 D range tires. Now you'll find the dry weight of the coach usually located down here. This particular camper, the way it sits, 4,208 pounds. There's room on the front for two batteries if you want to put two batteries on there. Uh, power tongue jack, single 20 pound propane tank. Some customers do opt in for a dual tank system. Definitely talk with your salesperson here if that does interest you. We can do that for you. Safety chains are traditional. Seven way Bargman plug for your lighting. The camper has four wheel brakes, so you will want a brake controller when towing the unit. The hitch ball size is 2 and 5 sixteenths, where a lot of the smaller Nobos are only 2 inch, so that is another little difference in the unit. Again, guys, check us out, CouchesRVNation.com, toll-free number 888-417-8299.